I'm here in my new, uh, let's call it the Bauer Bachelor box, my new little apartment. I got my hot plate going and I'm going to start cooking meals and I don't have a microwave. That's one thing I did not want to put in this apartment is a microwave because I really don't want to eat that type of stuff as much as I used to. So let's see how this goes. So this is the Bauer cooking series and I hope you enjoy. I call it hot plate meals. All right, so we got a little bit of oil in the pan. Got the hot plate going for about 10, 15 minutes already to get the wok uh, prepared. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of a stir fry. So I pre-prepped my onions, bell peppers, got some crushed carrots, and a couple of mushrooms, if you will. And I'm gonna make a little bit of a big meal for my first time, just to see if this can cook a meal for at least two or three people. So, but let's find out what goes on. So I get the stir fry, the onions, everything into the pot. I've never cooked on a hot plate before. Um, I'm so used to gas grills and all that, but you can't do that in a little studio apartment. So let's just saute these up a little bit. So it looks like a lot of food, but you guys got to remember, I'm learning how to downsize. In my mind, I would actually cook a little bit more than this normally and eat two or three times, but with no microwave, I'm gonna try to cook less each and every time, but I just wanted to see if this will cook a big meal. Plus, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't eaten good food or home cooked food in about four days since I've been in this new apartment. So I'm a little hungry and I'm gonna pig out. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, spices right now, but I do have some pepper. I like to put a little bit of pepper in there as well. Get that all spiced up, and then no and then no and then no and then no and then. One of the flavors you always gotta have is a little spicy. So I'm putting in a little top of teal, some drops. It'll blend in with the vegetables, if you will. Give maybe give me give it a little bit of a spicy flavor. That should be enough. You know, that'll give it some flavor. And you guys are gonna think I'm a little bit weird for this, but I got some peanuts. Um, some honey roasted peanuts has a little bit of sugar in it so you always want to add sugar with spice and in a lot of Asian meals they add peanuts so I'm just going to add a few peanuts to soften up and roast and it'll be a punchy element to the top ramen stir fry if you will you're crazy you're crazy man. you're crazy so you let that go a couple more minutes. Meal prep is very important. So cut all your vegetables up and all that other stuff and clean while you're doing it. Because I ain't got a lot of room in this space. Are you ready to go in to your brand new cage? I'm going to add top ramen noodle dishes with this stir fry. I know it's not very healthy uh, in terms of salt and stuff like that. It's really, really bad in terms of sodium and all that, but for my first meal in my new place, I'm gonna spoil myself until I officially learn how to cook. This should be enough food for me to pig out on tonight. I like to put the, the flavoring package in before the water, so it'll mix with the vegetables. This is a chicken top ramen package, a basic chicken one. Add a little bit of water now. The noodles will cook with a little bit of water. You don't have to you know, fill it all up. So let's hope we can get this water hot to a boil. Now the vegetables are partially cooked. Now you got that chicken flavoring and all that other stuff. Plus the water will break down the peanuts a little bit more. But now we want to let the water get real, real hot. Let's just give a little, quick little taste of the flavoring. Yeah, we gotta have flavoring. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, that's a little spicy. And I may put a little too much spice in there. But you know what? We all need spice in our life. That's why we should all try to date a Latina. Oh, you think I'm stupid? Oh, you think you just leave me in the middle of the night? Oh, you remember your laptop? I got you. Look, you're not on the laptop now, like I see I'll go on you. So you guys are saying, what about a protein? What about a protein? This is not a pure vegetarian meal just yet. But I bought a pound of tilapia. So just take a handful and add it to the stir fry, if you will, with the water and all that. Fish cooks very quickly. And one good thing about making a stir fry, before I added the water, because I'm going to put top ramen in it as well, you could have just stir fried the vegetables and the fish, and then you could have made fish vegetable tacos, whether it be with corn or flour. Vegetable fish tacos. Sounds pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty. All right, let's stir that tilapia with the vegetables and that leftover um, chicken flavored water as well. And just a reminder, you can substitute little pieces of chicken. You could substitute some pieces of shrimp or whatever you like, even beef, turkey, as well as a protein instead of the fish. But I thought fish would be a nice touch to make it sort of considered halfway Asian, if you will. All right, it's just about time. Uh, as you can see, it's boiling a little bit more, so it's getting hot. So let's go ahead and take the top ramen. Always open the package above it because there's always little pieces that fall out, you know? Did you guys ever eat Top Ramen when you were growing up raw? Like you would put the flavoring in it and eat it raw? Yeah, I used to do that. So I break it into four different pieces, set them to each corner. Now go to your corner. I'm having to live like a college student. Many of you guys have already experienced this type of living, but I really haven't. So that's why it's kind of interesting to me. So there it is, you get the pieces in there. Then I like to pour the vegetables over the, the top of it just to get the soaking started. But that's the way I do it. But that's the way I do it. While the food is cooking, or the top ramen is being evaporated, I don't even know if that's a word. Here's a little quick tour of my bachelor box. Uh, that's right, you got, I got a mini fridge. Well, it's kind of a bigger than a mini fridge. Uh, that's where all my stuff is kept, but here it all is. The entertainment center is right here. Posters and everything on the wall. And then I got my little computer area, which I'll show you guys here. But let's give a quick little tour. So there it is. You got the couch. I don't have a coffee table yet, really. And there it is. Move out of the way. Might be hard to see because of the bright light. But you got the entertainment center. Right underneath the light. The TV's on the wall. And you got my green screen. You guys are going to get to know the, this place very, very well. And then also, I got my, well, it's not completely the Indiana Jones hallway right now, but I'm going to do a lot of vlogs in here. Well, look, it, it appears to be breaking up pretty nicely. And you guys are going to think I'm weird, but I like pepper. I like pepper. Yes, I do. I like pepper. How about you? I like pepper. It tastes real good. It's got a spicy little treat that makes you feel good. Pepper. All right, guys. To be quite honest with you, it's pretty much done. I will not taste test it because I don't want to watch you guys watch me eat like a pig. Thanks for this edition. I truly appreciate you guys chiming in. And let me know some recipes for the next videos that you guys might want to see me cook on here. And 
you know, let me know. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully the effects and everything will get bigger and better. But for now, it is what it is. And I love you guys. Live from the Bauer Bachelor Box. It's Michael Ray Bauer with hot plate dishes, top ramen, vegetables, and goodness. I like pepper. How about you?